Welcome back. I'm Justin, and this is the CNR Collector Channel. And this is my uh, Royal Tiger M1 carbine. And this is a NIDAR optical sight. Uh, today, I'm going to go over how I uh, mounted the NIDAR sight to my carbine. Uh, for those that have seen the uh, NIDAR sight test video, uh, this might be interesting to you. So stick around. Now, this is a nice Winchester early handguard, and I really didn't want to destroy it. Though you probably could mount um, what they call the uh, receiver mount, or the NIDAR. You could probably mount that on there. But I would say you'd have to modify that wood quite a bit, because there's not a lot of contact. So I decided not to go that route. I didn't want to destroy it. So instead, I ordered a, a non-ventilated handguard from Numerich. And uh, I think it was less than 10 bucks. What I had to do was uh, modify this to fit really tight. on top of the stock here. I had to take quite a bit of material off and I had to cut out this section around here because it was rubbing uh, because this does come all the way down to here originally. Now if we look underneath the handguard I originally tried just drilling through right here, I believe right here. I tried drilling and tapping the metal. But you can see this isn't very thick metal and maybe had a thread and a half, maybe two threads worth. And I felt like under recoil it was just going to rip out. So what I did instead, as you can see that this trough built in here for the sights, that's pretty deep. What I did was I just filled this full of weld, just with the old MIG welder. Uh, I did not care if this looked pretty, because really whenever you put the, the mount on, you don't even see it. So, um, But I made sure that these two pads were in approximately the right place, and I didn't want to drill through where I'd already drilled through, so that's why I drilled at the back of the the um, pads there. But I just used this as a guide. Uh, if I take this plate off, you'll be able to see that there's other screw holes that are uh, off at an angle. It did fine with just the two screws. I don't think it's necessary to do four or six screws. I think that would be a little overkill. But um, yeah, I just went down to the hardware store picked up a couple uh, gun screws and the right size tap and uh, these guys fit I don't have the numbers for you guys so be best just to take your mounting base and everything just to the store uh, but you can see they fit perfect in there and they have plenty of uh, threads underneath And then I just uh, tap that to where uh, we've, we've got a good way of mounting it. And uh, as you can see in the video, if you guys watched the uh, NIDAR test video, uh, it did really well. I did do a lot of grinding and shaping to this, and then I just threw some cold blue on it to make it look uh, better. But as I took metal off, I ended up finding out that the front end didn't want to touch anymore. And what I did was I pretty much made it as thick as the wood one uh, just by putting more weld across here and then grinding it down to where it has a good profile. And it took a lot of trial and error fitting to get it to fit on there, but now, 
since this kind of has a ramp to it up here, um, when I tighten this screw down, actually, I don't even have to tighten it down. There is no movement in that at all. My only concern was that the, the metal might rub on the wood and create scuff marks. Uh, it did not. Um, I did round the edge with a file, uh, making sure that uh, the edge was not as sharp. So you may wonder how I centered um, this on the rifle. Take a piece of string, put a little loop on the end, or wire, wire works too. And then just take this and run it down and rest it right on top of the front sight. So now you've got it being pulled from the center of the rear sight up to the front. And you can see it runs right down the middle of the handguard. And that's where I made my marks. And uh, I used the bottom plate on the NIDAR as a guide. So we mounted it to these two holes here. These four holes are at a uh, angle. I would not suggest uh, using those. You don't really need to. All right, guys, this was a pretty cool project. I hope that uh, I helped you with your project if this is something you're interested in. And uh, if you got any questions, throw them down below. And if you haven't seen the Night R test video, please head on over to it. I'll throw the link right up there and I'll throw it down below too. Um, please share that if you think it's cool too. And uh, We'll see you guys next time.